What up, nation? I am uh, just out cruising around today, taking a little journey from one town to the next. Found myself, uh, was it Capel, I think? A little local diner place here, and then there is a, another local diner over there. Yeah. So, anyway, thought I would stop, take a moment, and talk to you guys about the Iron 1200 and why I chose this bike. Okay, so as many of you know, some of you may not know, this is the Harley Davidson Iron 1200. Uh, some of you may recognize this bike, but go, hey, wait a minute, there's something different here. Uh, I took the AMF logo off of the bike. You can check out my previous videos and see what I did. Uh, it's actually pretty short, and so I think a little step-by-step -step is what I did, but it had the AMF logo from the 70s, and it was a very dark time for Harley Davidson, and I don't know why they chose to put that logo on this beautifully blacked out bike, but they did. I prefer the um, 883 logo uh, that was on that tank. I thought they should have put it on this bike and put that AMF logo on the, the uh, 883, because inevitably when you go to the dealership, they talk to you about this bike. Uh, if you walk in, most of them, not all of them, but most, if I walk into the dealership and said, hey, let me take a look at your 883s, they would almost always steer me towards this bike. Now, I will say they were correct. This was the bike to choose. I think I would have been completely bored with the 883. So that begs the question, uh, is this a beginner bike? Uh, is this a, a regular bike for whoever wants to like pick up and start riding again? Um, well, the answer is yes, all the above. Uh, I think if you're a young rider and you start on this bike, and this is the very first bike you ever start with, this might be a bit much starting out. But if you calm yourself down, relax, don't get punchy on the throttle, um, this is a great beginner bike as well. 1200 cc's is not a lot, but for someone who's reckless and I guess for lack of a better term, wants to be a know-it-all right out of the chute, then this will probably be a, a bad bike for you. Probably look for like the 883 or maybe look for a, um, look for like a Phantom which is, I think, a 750cc. Maybe the Arrow is as well. but uh, Or even a Honda Rebel, like a 500 or a 300. Um, but barring all that, uh, this is a great bike if you're responsible enough to start off on. Uh, and it's also a great bike if you're coming back into it like myself. It's been many, many years since I've ridden a bike. And uh, when I decided I was going to get back into it, uh, I, I shopped carefully. I looked at all the different bikes uh, from Honda 1100 to the uh, even the 750 uh, Phantom, uh, the uh, uh, Honda Shadow Phantom, I think is what it's called. Um, but I looked at that. I looked at the uh, Indian uh, Scout, the Indian Scout 60. Uh, all these different bikes, different horsepower. I think the max horsepower I looked at was 100 horsepower. And I want to say that was the Indian Scout. Uh, I think the Indian Scout 60 was 60 horsepower, which is what I think this one is, but I'm not sure. I'll throw it up on the screen and let you know. So anyway, I uh, put a couple of mods on this bike. Um, I've got the mustache bar down here on the bottom, um, moved the controls forward, added the uh, Vance and Hines slip-ons. Um, I've got a, well, this has got a sissy bar right back here. I've got that on. I've got the... Uh, tool bag in the back I've got the uh, tank bag right here for my phones uh, a lot of people want to mount them up top but I just keep them in there I don't need to be staring at the phone maybe I'll put them out on there I don't know I'm kind of rattling now uh, I got the uh, GoPro right here and I got the swing arm bag right there and of course my lovely go bag right here on the back of the bike so anyway um, long story short uh, I looked at a lot of bikes oh I almost forgot I did the headlight too. Put an LED right there. And I blacked out these. So, uh, a couple of different things. Took off the cowling right here. Still trying to get the uh, cap. Harley's got it ordered, but man, 
everything is slow. So I made some uh, cosmetic changes, took the cowling off, got rid of that logo. And uh, you know, it's like what you do with any bike, you make it your own. I think I also had the bars move slightly forward. Um, but uh, bar and all that, uh, that was pretty much about it. Um, I will throw up specs for the other bikes I looked at. So that if you are looking for a bike for the very first time and you wanna get into this, um, you can have sort of a guide to uh, shop for a bike yourself. Um, if you wanna know more about blacking out the tank, if you wanna know more about the mods, um, I'll probably put a video up together for that as well. But of course, hit me up, ask me a question, let me know. Um, but uh, that's it. That's pretty much why I chose the bike. This was the, the best option for me out of all the ones I looked at. Uh, it did not have the top end horsepower or the top end torque, but just the overall aesthetic of the bike is what really attracted me. Um, I like that completely blacked out look, as you can probably tell by my shirt. But I like the complete blacked out look and I think it just looks badass on a bike. And so how could you accept any less? But this looked fantastic and it worked for me. So anyway, that's all I got for the bike. Um, like I said, if you got any questions, hit me up. Uh, if you like what you see here, hit the uh, like button. Please feel free to subscribe. Uh, until next time, stay safe and I'll see you on the next ride.